Let's do it. Jump. 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 Everybody jump. Everybody jump. <laughs> Megan and Sue in the restricted section and today we're going to be doing the spooky movie book tag and this tag was created by Gabs About Books and she also is the person who tagged us. Yes. Oh and we're also going to be drinking Schlafly Pumpkin Ale. Schlafly? 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 I don't know. Schlafly? I don't know. But whatever it is, mm. it's delicious. Yeah, that's a tasty one. So this one wasn't in our Battle of the Pumpkin beers because at the time they didn't have them in the individual sale area right. of my Brown Derby. But if it had been, it probably would have been in the top probably three. Probably top three for sure. it's pretty delicious. And okay. I've heard that it's like a highly coveted pumpkin beer. A lot of people love this one. Yeah. So. It's true. It's tasty. It's delicious. You want to jump into these questions? Let's do it. The Hocus Pocus. Choose a classic spooky book. And I chose one I just read, which was hey. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Oh, that a nice. I quite enjoyed this. And I'll have, well, I will have posted a review of it on today, Sunday. <laughs> on on Sunday. today, Sunday. Yeah. yeah. So check that out. Yeah. Um, I chose Dracula, Bram Stoker. Dracula. Dracula. All right, the next question is Halloween. What's your perfect Halloween book? Um, I said The Prince of Mist by Carlos Ruiz Zafon because it's creepy as fuck, but also delightful. And I chose um, my Alfred Hitchcock Presents Stories Not for the Nervous, which is a collection of short horror stories because they're just mostly a lot of fun not mm -hmm. most of them aren't like super scary yeah but I think Halloween should be fun so I, like I agree fun, spooky stuff and there's a nice variety in there so there you go oh there you go oh there you go there it is number three is Halloween Town choose a book with witches I've never seen Halloween Town I've never heard of it until really? I was an adult I don't think I have seen it I don't remember like I think it was okay I don't remember. It's one of those like Nickelodeon ones, isn't it? Or Disney or Disney, something. I don't know. One of those Some channels. channel I didn't have I don't when know. I was a kid. Whatever. Um, anyway, a book with witches. I yes. chose uh, The Witches by Roald Dahl. It's right there on the title. There you right go. There. Right fucking there. Uh, <laughs> I went Harry Potter because. I don't, why not? Why not? There's lots of witches. <laughs> witches get snitches. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, next is okay. Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge. Choose a series where its sequel ah. is spookier than the first book. Um, I haven't really read all that many spooky series, to be honest. Um, so I said The Cemetery of Forgotten Books, because I think a case could be made that perhaps the second book is spookier than the first one. It's not as good as the first one, but there are some spooky, spooky parts. So I don't know if it actually is spookier, but you probably could argue that it is, maybe. Um, I have no answer because I could not think of any series that I have read at all. Any spooky series that I've read at all. I've started a couple, yeah. but I have not read the second book in them. Series take a whole lot of So, commitments. yeah. Yeah. Oops. Oopsie. Oops. Next is Casper. Choose a book with ghosts. Uh, I chose Lisa and Poe. Po, Lisa and Poe by Lauren Oliver, which has a little ghost boy named Poe or ghost person. Person. Yeah. I just gave you a spoiler as to whether it's a boy or a girl. Damn it. My bad. Damn it. Little ghost person. Little ghost. And a ghost animal named Bundle. Bundle? Yes. It's kind of cute. <laughs> um, I said A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. His motherfucking ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> <laughs> Next is Scream. What is a book that terrorized you? Um, I took this perhaps a direction that it wasn't intended. And I said Stiff by Mary Roach because it was goddamn terrible <laughs> to finish. And it terrorized me until it was over. I went the same direction and chose Empire, a zombie Oof. novel by David Dunwoody because, good God, that was painful mm -mm. to finish. 
<sighs> and you know, both of those, to be fair, both of those are spooky-ish, because Stiff is about dead bodies, and Empire is a zombie novel, so. Right. You know. It works. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Choose a book with an eclectic group of characters. Uh, I chose A Planet for Rent by Yas. Each chapter follows a different character, and they're all very different people, and sometimes aliens. And sometimes aliens. So there you go. Um, I chose The Long Way to a Small Hungry Planet by Becky Chambers because aliens, humans, different kind of aliens, all kinds of stuff going on. Mm-hmm. AI, whatever. Yeah. Next is The Addams Family. <coughs> Choose a spooky book that is family friendly. Oh, we're dressed oh, appropriately we for are. that, aren't we? Look at us. <laughs> Look at us be appropriate. <laughs> Serendipitous. We're hardly ever appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, I said Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Because that's a, it's nice and creepy, but it's also a like middle grade novel, so family friendly. Yeah. So I chose The Dollhouse Murders by Betty Renwright. This is like a weird murder mystery book where the dolls like reenact the murder, but it's a kid's book, so it's family friendly. Family friendly. Beetlejuice. Choose a spooky book, spooky book, spooky book you've read more than once. For this, I chose Bruce Cobble's Book of Monsters. This is one of the few books that I have read more than once. Because <laughs> I read it more than once when I was a kid. Um, I did not have a pick for this because I generally don't reread books. I think one of the only books that I've ever reread has been 1984. And that's, I guess, I guess mildly terrifying if you think about being yeah. in a dystopian society, but probably not in the way that this tag would warrant. Last question is Tower of Terror. Um, choose a spooky book with a roller coaster of emotions. I said The Shadow of the Wind by um, Carlos Ruiz Zephon because holy fuck. That book is dark and there's lots of drama and it's creepy and roller coaster of emotions. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. And I chose World War Moo by uh, Michael Logan. It's you laugh, you vomit, you. <laughs> Are terrified. <laughs> Not really terrified, but it's a little scary. Yeah. There's like zombie rats running around. It's pretty just fucking devour creepy. you. Oh, nope. That's pretty creepy. creepy. Now I'm out. So, yeah. You know, and it's not a good book unless you vomit at least once. Yeah. You know, exactly. Yeah. All right. So then now we're into the bonus questions. Um, bonus number one What is your favorite Halloween movie? Halloween. Halloween. Yes, the original. Michael Myers. Ooh, awesome. I love it. I have never seen it, but I have an automatic aversion to it because... Her neighbors ruined that movie for her. My goddamn neighbors, they go all out for Halloween, which I support. However, they have an outdoor, like, music maker thing, and it just played the theme song to the movie Halloween on repeat. And I clocked totally it outdoors, which would be yes. really annoying. It was so bad. And I clocked it one day, and they played it for over four hours, and, like, consecutively. Yeah. That would ruin it for me too. So I'm glad my neighbors don't do that. Ooh. And I Ooh. hate them for ruining it for you. Fuck them. Um, I said The Shining because I this is one of my favorite movies of all time, and I think it's really creepy. And I think Jack Nicholson is brilliant in it, and I love it. Love it. Love okay. It. The second bonus question is: What is your Halloween costume? Um, this year I was Sarah from The Labyrinth and my husband was Jareth the Goblin King, so I wore a big poofy white dress and yeah. Um, I was Pippi Longstocking this year because I horrible. didn't feel like trying very hard. <laughs> I didn't want to make an effort. <laughs> and that was easy, that so was that's what I did. Um, but it was cute, a cute costume. I think it was super cute, so, yeah. It was pretty adorbs. Yeah. Yeah. So those were our costumes, and that was the tag. Um, I don't think we're gonna tag anyone because this is Halloween. Halloween today, so, so, I mean, put a pin in it. Do it next year, yeah. or you can do it now. I or mean, do it out. I mean, whatever. No one's telling you you can't. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> yeah. So if you like the tag, then please yeah. do it. Jump on in. Yeah. Get up in here. Do it. But yeah. So we love Halloween. We are glad that we got tagged in this. Yes. It was fun. Yes, we love Halloween. Love it. And this beer, still tasty. Pretty delightful. It's really delicious. Yeah. 
It's one of my Missouri favorite Missouri is beers. good at the pumpkin beers. It, yeah. Missouri has good pumpkin beers, let me tell you what. This and the O'Fallon. Ooh, good. Delicious. And I don't often Count say- Count Orlock. Not so much. Back up off the Count Orlock. Not so much. Oh, no. Now, I don't often say that Missouri is good at things, but yeah. We're good at making meth. Well, there is that. There is that. <laughs> All right, so that's it for us. Um, happy Halloween, everyone. Happy Halloween. And uh, there'll be links below, as usual, where you can find us elsewhere on social media. If you're not already subscribed to the restricted section, do, do so. It. Yeah. And thanks, you guys, for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.